Hi all, today I am going to share how to get started with TCL scripting language which is mostly and majorly used in VLSI industry for various types of automations used in daily practice. I will be discussing a basic program that is summation of two numbers and we'll see in what all possible ways we can execute and get the submission. So let's get started. First of all, we'll check if we have the tickle installed. So for that, we can use which command and tclsh. If it gives us the binary file path, which means it is there. Now to move to tclsh, we'll just type out tclsh and enter. It will take us to the tickle prompt. To test it, I will just give a print message using puts command that is hello world enter yes it's working then let me try with setting up few variables that is set a giving integer number 12 set b giving another number let's say 45 and then using third variable c for computing the computing and storing the submission of these two numbers dollar a and dollar b dollar is used for calling the variables c is assigning and exp expr is the expression that we use for all the mathematical calculations in tickle now we'll use another puts message to say that the sum of dollar a and dollar b is dollar c what it comma close enter so in this message you can see that the sum of 12 which is place dollar a is replaced by 12 dollar b is replaced by 45 and dollar c is replaced by 57 which is the submission calculated by tickle program now this is line by line execution so when we will discuss about the loops the if else condition the while loop for loop for each loop processors which is nothing but functions it become a little typical and then this line by line execution is like you have to do every time but we have if we have written some automation we want to use it multiple times so we'll not we'll not prefer to use this way of executing tickle codes instead we will use a file and execution method so i will create a file which is some one dot tickle and here first of all i need to call the binary file where my tclsh is installed and then i will write the same commands let's say set 12 of variable a set b as 24 and then set c as expr dollar a plus dollar b and then i will give a puts message that the sum of dollar a and dollar b is dollar c we'll save it and close it and to execute i need to give the permission so quickly i'm just giving it for all then dot slash and the file name the script file name enter so now you see the message which is printed over the shell this is the sum of 12 and 24 is 36 if i want to change the numbers i can change it let's say i make it 32 and 24 now i will again execute it the sum of 32 and 24 is 56 now we'll see other way so i will create another file that is some two article again calling the usr bin slash tclsh the binary file and let's say i have a list of numbers list of numbers this is the variable which i am creating and to create a list the way is square versus list keyword and then you give the numbers so let's say 34 and 56 these are the two numbers which i give now how to access this list values so we list uh, in the list we give the indexes means uh, this is on the zeroth index and this is the first index now how to get those index values I will assign them to a variable so set a and square braces l index this is again a keyword which uh, takes the index value of the list what is the list name to get the list name dollar and give this list name of this list which index zeroth index 
so I will just check also with a message the first value in list is dollar a then same thing I will do for second variable second value also set B L index dollar list and first value of the list means on which is on the first index then puts message the second value in the list is dollar b and post that okay let me first see if it comes ch mode 777 some two dot tickle then some two dot tickle yes the first value is 34 and second value is 56 now when i'm able to access these values what i need to do is again set c expr dollar a plus dollar b and the puts message that the sum of dollar a and dollar b is dollar c save and close execute it the sum of 34 and 56 is 90 so in this way we have seen that if we have a list of numbers given in the program how to access them based on the index numbers using L index keyword and then how to add them up third thing would be just a continuation of uh, listing we will add for each how to use the loop so we'll call the usr bin slash tclsh and here i will be creating a list of numbers so again set list of numbers square versus list here i will give multiple numbers now these are the numbers for which i want to sum up so now the story is not of two numbers it's of n numbers now how to do summation and how to automate it so there is a loop in special integral that is named as for each for each and uh, here we give a local variable let's say where one will give the list name that is this list name curly braces open and the body part curly braces close inside the body part i will assign a variable sum set sum expr dollar sum plus where dollar where one so what it will do is and let me also assign a sum value as zero i'm just initializing it with zero so that first value will come as zero and this where one will have the first value from this list that is 12 then this for each will continue will where one will have the value second that is 34 then third fourth fifth sixth all these value it will combine one by one and add up to the sum variable and at the last outside the for each loop we can give a puts message puts the sum of dollar this list numbers is dollar sum let's try this first we'll give the permission and then execution some three dot tickle now if you see the sum of 12 34 45 67 78 23 is 259 so this is how now if i increase or reduce the numbers let's say i will insert here 1 2 3 4 5 these numbers i have added no other change i need to do in the program execute it again now it is 1 2 3 4 5 12 34 45 67 78 23 and the sum is 274 we'll go to the next way sum 4 dot tcl now here i will discuss about the function so we have understood a logic that whenever something which is being repetitive or iterative we create a function of it that we call in the c language so for that we have processors here we name it as processor 
and the keyword is proc so in similar fashion as of C we define the function first and the main program later here also we will define the proc first and the main function at the later so proc is sum to nos let's say and in these curly braces I will define the arguments that is n1 and n2 let's say open curly braces body part close body part would be I will say set sum and square basis expr dollar n1 plus dollar n2 and uh, then after the function I will just call it hyphen some nos and then I will give two numbers let's say 34 and 78 we'll save it and close it uh, I have not given the puts statement here I need to give puts also puts the sum of dollar n1 and dollar n2 is dollar sum now it should work we'll give the permission first then execution so now you see the sum of 34 and 74 is 11 12 now what is the advantage of this processor is I can repeat this function calling and I can give different number let's say 2 space 4 and now see you see if I see executed so I will see two statement because the function is called twice first time it was called for 34 and 78 and the sum was 112 second time it was called for 2 and 4 now the sum is 6 so just adding up of another line and uh, we get the submission we need not to iteratively use these two commands and give it so this is how we create functions or processors inside the tickle